Thank you, Nelson, for being here. And thank you for going to space as well. And doing a backflip, too. That's an added bonus. You're getting a promotion. How's it going, everybody? It is Center here, and welcome to part 10 of The Simpsons Hit and Run. We've now taken care of races number one and number two, and now it's time for race number three. The last of the three. And it is being held by Ralph, who is, for the first level, in front of the uh, Springfield First Church, so... That's pretty easy to recognize when you're driving. It's by the uh, Casanova, and over there are some buildings. So, yeah, let's start this up. Hello, little son of the police chief, little angel. Those nice man ladies made me a race judge. Eh, they're probably just bribing you with one, nothing. One, one, You'll do it anyways. Two. So here's how I'm going to do all these ones, with uh, the secret cars in each one. So pretty much I'm already breaking this first race, because this car is extremely fast. It just can't turn for crap unless you kind of really use the handbrake on this. And its durability is laughable. It is probably the worst out of any vehicle in the game, to be honest. So i, I got to be very careful with this. So thankfully, because this car is so quick, I... I have plenty of time to be careful with it, and there's no traffic vehicle, so yeah. And it's a, I guess it's a little bit of a shortcut, but you know. And, and just a magically spawning gill. Okay, that works. So this is just a checkpoint race, just one from one end to the other. Pretty simple. That's all you have to do. And let's see if I could make it through the jump without blowing up. I'm not even smoking good. And this is worse than when Jub Jub ate my cat. Everyone sucks but me. Okay, so now we've done all the races completed, and that means we've unlocked a new vehicle, which was the Electorus for this one. Now I'm gonna of course show that off. Actually the next part actually. I'll show all the vehicles that I win in that one. But for now that's necessary. And we move on to the next one where we will all, again, be getting the secret vehicle and meet Ralph as Bart. Okay, so two things. First thing, this is probably going to be the only uh, race involving Ralph that I'm not going to be using the secret vehicle. Why? Because the secret vehicle in this level is undoubtedly the worst. It is slow and is, has terrible handling. And there's just there was no way I was going to win the race with it. So I just brought out Lisa's car because why not, as you will see. And Ralph's location is... Pretty much by nearby the town hall, and cl also close to the stadium, where the Duff Blimp flies. Hey, how about that? He's also near some pizza. I want some pizza. Give me some pizza. Hi, Mr. Elisa. If you win, the man ladies will give you a car. Bring it. Okay, let's bring it on, man. Five, five, so, yep. Five, four. Here's an inception. Lisa does not change your vehicle just because you drive the same vehicle. So yeah, there we have two Malibu Stacy cars. And that's and that's honestly why I chose this, just to show that off that it doesn't change regardless. But yeah. I actually now have a chance of winning this time around because with the other vehicle, yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. So but the vehicle is up there, by the way. You probably won't be able to see it very well with a camera angle, but it's up there. It's in part of the location where we were doing the uh, literary pickup with Apu in level 5. And yes, we do have to go over here. I a decent lead here. Not not huge, but I am in the lead. And that just happened, which doesn't very help. Doesn't very help, oh, yep. Okay, okay. I need to stop stalking sometimes because I end up messing up my words. But here's the finish, so hooray. Not terrible. Perfection, thy name is Bart. Yeah, it was pretty good, though. Anyways, because we now won all three, we now got Mo Sedan. Again, I'll be showing those off in the next part. As for necessary. Well, she went flying. I don't know about this one, though. And not that it work, not it'll work anyway, because it seems to only work once, and then you can't do it again. Which is kind of crap. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Next up, now for Ralph with Lisa, he's basically just outside the uh, Duff Factory here, which is pretty much also right next to the 
Krusty Loose Studios, I think that's what it's called. Is that right? Is it right? Please remind me, guys, if you watch this. Ah, oh, I killed Ralph. It's all right. Why are you working here? Daddy says I should stay here till I learn to control myself at the hardware store. Vroom, vroom! Right. I'll just start racing. Whatever happens, I guess. One, 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 go! He just, does, he, does he not know two or three? I mean, we, he, we know he knows one, and we know he knows five and four, but does he know two and three? So yes, by the way, the secret vehicle is like this very stealthy boat that's got quite a bit of power, and the handling's not terrible, but it's nothing really to, to write home about. And yet, because this isn't, it's it's quick, but it's not very quick, so... So you can see that Marge is actually being competitive because of it. And... There we go. I, ah, let's hope we take the wide way around. You're saying you're, you're calling your own mom a loser. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you want to do, Lisa. And... <laughs> Well, it screwed up, so I'm in the lead now. Huzzah. So not a, not a terrible vehicle, but nothing again, nothing to really write home about. It's quite neat, though. She must get her driving ability from her mother's side. I am the Lizard Queen. So we did it. So we our reward for this one is a book burning van, and again, that's what they get. So next up, time for the one with the Marge. With the mother. Oh boy, I'm already burnt out at this one. Let me explain. As a, but but f before I explain, let's actually start it. So, little Ralphie Wiggum, how are you? Candy makes me happy, then tired. So, what are you doing here? Two ugly monsters named Patty and Selma say you have to race. Oh, Ralph, if only you knew who they were to march. If only. And I think you're just saying random numbers at this point because you enjoy saying random numbers. All right. Here's here's the couple things that are the big issue with this one. As I mentioned, I've been trying to use the, the hidden vehicles for each one. Not, not this one because the hidden vehicle for this one is quite horrendous in in the handling. The speed's not great to begin with, but the handling is. Woo! It's. It's its own level of awful. At this point, I'm starting to I'm starting to wonder about the other three secret vehicles if I'm even going to end up using them at all because of what that. So I just brought up Comer's car because this thing is uh, quite a good friend to mine because it's just a great vehicle. And pretty much that's the case. Uh, this has been taking me a while, so oh boy, the editing on this one's going to be fun. Very fun indeed. But now we're pretty much on the safe home stretch, and they'll beat you, Frank. Good work, Marjorie. You're finally turning your life around. How about that? And a reward is a clown car. Yes, a clown car. Which again, I'll show off in the next part. Meanwhile, you get a slight hop. Anyways, time to become Apu. Okay, so as much as this breaks my heart, I cannot use... The uh, secret vehicle, as you already know, because you s I've tried to show it off for, is the monster truck. Simply because it's not fast enough and it doesn't turn sharp enough. Because probably because it's a monster truck. But anyway, so I w actually went to Gill and bought me the police car. How about it? So, anyways, uh, to get to Ralph for this one, he's remember the town hall over there. Well, he's over here now. He is pretty much in front of what is it? The county courthouse. Why he'd be here? I don't know. Oh. Okay, that worked. Hey, aren't you the boy who nearly drowned in the nacho cheese? I was in the newspaper! How do you tr nearly drown in nacho cheese? Six, 12, one, go. How? Oh, I can't take the jump. So yeah, it's back to just... it to Back to just one car again. And it's Bart this time instead of uh, someone else. And his red fairy. I thought I'd just bring the police car out just to see how it does. Bought it off of Gil for 
425 coins. <clears throat> it's actually the first time I bought something off him. Oh, but here's a shortcut isn't taken. Oh, he actually kind of did. Because he's tried spinning me out. So you can take that, Bart. I'm going to take a shortcut. Oh, and I have to go this way for this one. And now I got a decent distance from him. Ha 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 Use the handbrake to get around that one quickly. Oh, but he's, he's gaining, though. This isn't good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's gaining. Oh, he kind of screwed himself up, though, for, for, tape, for his evasive maneuvering. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Right there. Not the last checkpoint yet, so, again, this is a bit of a distance one, which is which I'm okay with. And get around there, and there is the finish. Huzzah. You look pretty good out there. Is there a Mrs. Nahasa Pasa but the whatever? Oh, thank the gods there is! I have brought glory- And the reward this time is the El Caro Loco. It's pretty- El Caro Loco. Pretty interesting name. Again, I'll be showing off next part. Meanwhile. Well, one of them went to space. Alright, time to go to Bart again. So this time, Ralph is outside the observer- Oh my god! Poor Ralph. But yeah, he is outside the observatory, and all this guy is following me. God, poor Ralph, and I got shot. Anyways, let's just get this going. God damn it, stop it! You and me are having a play date. You race, and I'll watch. Oh, Ralph, that's actually kind of disturbing that you don't, because you probably don't actually know what a play date means. Okay, great, you counted, but you forgot to say go. Not that it matters, we're just going anyway, so ha ha ha. Yep, facing Homer again in the secret vehicle for this level. A Cadillac 50s Cal... Cal... Flau, 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 a 50s Cadillac Eldorado. Which is actually not a bad vehicle. It's it's a bit heavy on steering, but it's, it is stable, and it does have some a decent amount of power. And I got through that little shortcut pretty well. Yikes. And though... You kind of want you to, you actually can fit through that one. So, there we go. And I'm just going all... Oh, bollocks. Oh, hey, I actually didn't make it. Something... Something... What happened to Homer? He, he really screwed that one up. Hey, well, it's okay, because it gives, makes my lead larger. Although, he has the faster vehicle, so he can probably easily catch up. Unless he's screwing up again, because I saw his arrows just stop. Well, I guess I can't really complain about that one. Because I am still in the lead, and the finish is up here. And I have to sneeze. Well, you made good time there. Must have been all that fling from the wall you've done. Give it up for America's best And this one, the, my reward is the 36 Stutes Bearcat. Awesome. She, it's always her who's flying over over her. Anyways, now it's time to go talk to a zombie again. Alright, so here is the last one. You're just outside the school. And yes, I'm not using the secret vehicle for this one because it's just not fast enough. Okay, living dead. Let's do this and get back to trying to kill each other. Sounds like plan. Sound, I think he said sounds like a plan. Great. So yes, because Great. I chose, well, Great. the hearse for this. There's two hearses. The only difference between my hearse and that hearse is I'm going to be the winning hearse. How about that, apples? I didn't do it. Uh, yep, yeah, as you can kind of see, already kind of left them and still leaving them. The hearse is a damn good vehicle in this game. It's, or at least the one you can purchase. It's it's just got ex it's got excellent stats all all over. I mean, the handling may not be superb, but it's pretty. It's still quite good, and it's quite quick. So, how can you how how would you how can you not complain? Oh, I I know exactly. You can't complain. It's a good vehicle. 
So how about that, Apples? Because I just said that again now, for some some particular reason. Take the little shortcut through the uh, trailer house. Or wherever that's called again. And through the glass pane. That was a big jump that time. And... Winner. In your face! To wait, success. We now have to we can go to the phone booth to get the open wheel racer, and that's going to be a lot of fun. To trust me. So that's going to cover it for part ten. I'm gonna have, again, I'm going to have to do quite a bit of editing because that one with Marge. But yeah, that's what it, you. That's what happens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and take care. I'll see you back for part eleven for the gambling races, and see you on the YouTube and or GameAnyone.com.